Welcome to Riding Pines off-season plan, this time for the Vancouver Canucks, the Calgary Flames, and uh, some team in Edmonton. And for all y'all keeping track, those are all non-playoff teams. Yes, the last non-playoff teams we haven't covered because we already did Ottawa and Montreal. Oh! So five out of seven this year, not great for Canada. <laughs> not so no. good. Good job, Canada. Yeah. Joey Votto um, knows what he's talking about. Oh, he's Joey Votto. Yeah. Stick it. Yeah, um, <laughs> who wants to go first? I'll go first. Perfect. The Edmonton Oilers go first. Edmonton as always. Oilers go first. Oh, what a well, How many times have you heard that? <laughs> oh, yeah. No kidding. That's good. Thank if you. I had a little drum set, I should Thank a little you. rim shot there. I was so what went wrong? What went wrong? First thing that went wrong is uh, trade and balance. Ryan Strom. Who did they trade? Ryan Strom for Jordan Eberle. 13 goals versus 25 goals for Eberle. Yes, yes. So that's... They got to tread lightly is what they have to do moving forward in June. Tread competently. You know, you have the number 10 pick, I think, now. You yeah. Got, you just got to be careful with what you're going to do with it. That's right, uh, Shirelli. Yeah. So they, they've had some bad, like Taylor Hall, uh, Jordan Eberle. I don't even... Like, Griffin Reinhardt for a first Reinhardt. and a second that became Barzell and a Beauvillier. Terrible, terrible offseason. So they got to yeah. shape that up. Also, they have to learn how to play without McDavid. Yes. They have to no. increase their depth chart. And with McDavid this year, plus 21 gold differential. Without McDavid this year, minus 33 gold differential. Oh. That's just like <laughs> the dude is going to break his back by the time he's 25 years old. That's carrying those other 22 that's, players. Yeah, like That's literally. over 50 goals swing. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that is ridiculous. Like that's unreal. I mean, that does also speak to how good McDavid is, but... That's really bad without yeah, him. Yeah. You need some supporting cast here. Something. Absolutely. Yeah. And they have to improve their power play and their PK. Both special teams. So their PK was actually the worst. So what worst. you're saying is everything. <laughs> everything. Their PK was the worst of all Just time. Just be better. Of all time? All time. Worst of all time oh. at 65%. That's bad because, you know, that was with McDavid too. Yeah. Exactly. Well, and I don't, I don't is he do, playing on the PK? He doesn't kill penalties, I don't think. Well, oh, you, PK, you can't sorry. put him everywhere. Sorry. I was yeah. hearing power play. <laughs> well, he'll get to that, I'm sure. Get, I'm sure, yeah. Yeah. And their power play was 14%. So that's that's so brutal. That's with McDavid. Yes, that, that's brutal. There we go. So what do they need? Uh, right? They need to add a right-handed hand, right -handed shooting defenseman to quarterback the power play mm -hmm. to feed the lefties like Dreisaitl, McDavid, and Nugent Hopkins. That's going to fix your power play. So you got to get at least two of those, and then you got to improve, improve your depth chart. So Easily, yeah. That's Those are my fixes. Okay, um, I think that's a good fix. Listen up, Shirley. Listen yeah. up. If you need me, call me, baby. That's right. <laughs> call me, maybe. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> this is America. Do you want? I, I got the Vancouver Canucks. Nice. That's what I think they need, um, along with another defenseman, is they need uh, some secondary scoring to fill the the void that the City and Twins are going to to create. Now, as much as they knew it was their final season, everybody knew it was their final season. They still finished two and three in scoring on the team. Now, keep in mind, Bo Horvat was hurt for 40 of those games. Mm, and true. he's looking like he can be an 80-point guy. Really? Bo Horvat? Well, oh, he, yeah. he scored 46 and 44, I think. He was okay. over a point a game. All right. Well, let's say let's say 70-point guy. But okay. a solid 70-point guy. Brock Besser. Brock Besser yeah. is going to be a point a game guy or somewhere near 30, 40 near. goal scorer. Yeah. So what I think what they could do is, you know, they've just freed up $14 million in cap space by letting go of the city in there. Hard. That's so, so much That's money. a lot. Now, they also need a defenseman because their top pairing right now is Alexander Edler and Benoit Pouliot. There's Pouliot? On defense? Yeah. It's a different Pouliot. Yeah, it's a different Pouliot. Oh. Yeah. Um, wow. There's two of them? There's two Pouliots. Mm. Two Benoit Pouliots? Oh, maybe not Benoit. It's not Benoit. It's a Pouliot. It's a Pouliot. Pouliot. All right. I think okay. he played for... Did he play for the Penguins last year or two years ago? Pouliot? Maybe. Maybe. Either way. Anyways. Yeah. Moving on. And then you, they've got uh, Del Zotto and... Maybe Good Branson as their secondary. Nice, side. that is such a good Not top great. four. So this is, and I don't. I think they say the core course with uh, Jacob Markstrom. He actually had a good season: two point one seven goals against, uh, nine twelve save percentage. So it's pretty respectable um, uh, numbers on a bad team. Yeah, so stay the course with him. What I think they should do: they got to sign three guys, go to free agency, pick up John Carlson, give him seven million for for six years. Um, if if that can get him signed, it might not. All right, it's gonna need more than that. But you I get think. John okay. Carlson, and then I think to fill the the other the center and the left wing, pick up Tyler Bozak and David Perron. I don't think either of those guys are gonna off ask for too too much in That's the offseason. 
Uh, Perron had a really good year. Bozak had a pretty decent year, but they're still good secondary. Bozak's going to be your first line center. Um, so I think that's what they've got to do. Perfect. So I have the Calgary Flames, and the Calgary Flames don't need much. They need one thing. Can you guys guess? A brick wall. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they need they need a goalie. They need a goalie. Because they have, they have scoring on the blue line with Dougie Hamilton putting up, what, 15 goals this year? They have good offense and Gaudreau, Bennett. They have everything. They have ev- they have a- their top four defense is great with TJ Brody, um, Giordano, Hamilton. Um, I'm forgetting his name, but he played for the Islanders. Oh my, Hamannick. There we go. That's your top four. That's a pretty good top four. Travis just- Cement Hand Hamannick. You know, well, whatever. He gets injured every <laughs> now and again. That's fine. Uh, but he- they need a goalie. Mike Smith came in and started great, and then couldn't get it done. That's what happens when you bring in like a 36 year old goalie who was best season was in Arizona. He has the ability to get it done. Not anymore. Sorry, Mike. It's done. But look, there there are prospects or not prospects, but there are free agents out there that they can acquire. So I've I've earmarked two of them. First, Carter Hutton. He's got a 931 save percentage and a 2.9 goals against average. I wrote that wrong on my order here. If he doesn't go to the Islanders, which yeah. you hope. Yeah, I've, I've, I've wrote it like four <laughs> times for Eyes on Isles. Another bona fide backup. P.S. Yeah. Check out Eyes on Isles.com. Um, <gasps> in 32 games played, Hutton's got 17, 7, and 3. Yeah. That's, about, that's fantastic. That or fun. they can go for Hugh Bodum. Hugh Dobin. H- Hugh Dobin. Yeah. Hugh Dobin. Yeah. In, in Boston. A 913 save percentage, a 258 goals against average. Again, not fantastic, but these are league average numbers, at least, if not slightly better. And a 15, 6, and 1. That's pretty good. That's what they need. Yeah. Now, and, I mean, and that 15, both of these 6, guys. And one record's a little inflated because he they were going up against like Ottawa and teams that were just still, in the, the crap. And he did play for Boston. Yeah. So you already got Boston in front of him. So but I, th- I think that that's a good start. And Hudobin isn't isn't old. Hutton, not either. He's only 32. So I think that's a good place to start for Calgary. So out of these three teams, who do we think is making the playoffs next year? Calgary. Calgary. Oh, and Edmonton. Calgary no. and Edmonton. Not I don't. I have no faith in Edmonton. Yeah, Calgary and Edmonton and Vancouver is going to be in the dumps. Yeah, Vancouver is definitely in the dumps. So that's fine. They're rebuilding. That's they fine. Have, yes. They have to be in the dumps. Yeah, they're not going to sign those guys. I just said that's what they should do, but they're not going to. No, they're not going to. Hey, y'all. Harper here. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and click one of these videos down here.